Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. We're out in the shop. I'm with Jim Walker. He's been our technician for 18 years? 16. 16 years. Does welding robots, does a lot of different things. This one's a little bit different today. This is an offshore robot running on drill ships. And you've been on these drill ships? 14 times. 14 times. And what we're doing is what? Is We're not even welding. Tell us the process. So this is bolting and unbolting riser. The riser is what connects the drill ship to the seafloor and the BOP. Uh, so in this application, we're picking and placing 55 pound bolts. When we thread them in, we end up torquing them to 18,000 foot pounds. When we untorque them, we can untorque them up to 36,000 foot pounds if they end up that high. And in this situation, we laser the bolts and we laser the riser to find where everything is. And that's, that's the point I wanted to make today. I've been in robotics since the early 80s, and way back in the day, before you were doing it, to, to develop the TCP, which is the tool center point, because the robot only knows where the end of its flange is. You have to define the tool, and that tool could be a mill, a welder, a painter, or in this case, a wrench. And we have to define the length of that tool and the position of that tool relative to that, that last flange. And if that's not accurate, you know, the robot needs to know how many degrees to move to move this tool a specific dimension. So that tool center point definition is critical. And we used to do it with the robot itself and a uh, calculator, and it would take me a couple hours. And then you guys have started doing it with uh, like the AVB bullseye where you're breaking a single laser beam and you can define a part. Well, that doesn't work on a complex system like this. Tell us what we're doing. So in this situation, we have a sphere. Uh, that sphere happens to be the same diameter as the bolt heads. And so we then take the laser over to the sphere, scan it in multiple directions, multiple orientations. And in finding that sphere, we find where the sphere is and where the TCP of the laser is so that we know exactly where each bolt is. And so this is for all the usual reasons in a robotic system. You need to know the TCP and you need to know if it's changed. And Correct. so we're, we're checking to confirm that the TCP hasn't changed because if something moves, then the whole program is, is off. Yep. But this one's unique because whenever you go offshore on the two robot jobs, how many robots do you take? You take three robots. Explain that. So rig time costs a million, a million plus, two million, depends who you talk to. Per day. Per day. And so they're not willing to waste an hour or two of downtime fixing a robot. If they think about they may need an hour or two of downtime, they'll swap out to the other robot, which takes 30 minutes. And in doing so, when that robot is now on the system, it can then check its TCP and verify that it knows exactly where everything is. Because it's a completely new robot. We're having to orient it to everything, and it, it amazes me. That's very cool. And we've only made one robot swap in, in uh, 20 runs, right? Something about like that, yep. yeah. Not bad, but if we do need it, we have it here. So can you explain any more about how this, this works? Uh, so it's a 2D laser line scan, and basically what that gives you is a 2D map, so an X and a Y, of where the laser sees the reflection. So on those six or so scans, you'll get six different spheres or ellipses because as you notice we didn't actually scan the center diameter every single time we scanned uh -huh. the edges and the tops and offset as well so in all that the software is able to calculate where is the center of the sphere and in doing so it calculates where is the tool center point well based on observation when i see people using the single laser it can take several minutes to do this seems to be a lot quicker it's a lot more data a lot more With data. With one laser beam, you only get one data point every time you move the robot. This, I believe, is 1,024 data points every scan you take. And the problem we have offshore is we never know where the bolt circle is. We never know where the bolts are. And even if we know on this one, when we, when we bolt this one together and then we lower it 70 feet into the ocean, then we have to go through that entire registration process again on the next one. And that's why tool accuracy is so critical. Correct. When are you going offshore? Uh, November 30th, <laughs> end of the month. Good luck. Thank you. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.